Let's go! Will Muschamp fired at South Carolina. So, obviously, this has a lot to do with LSU, and it also doesn't have a lot to do with LSU. And there's one player who could end up being a tiger at the end of it. We'll tell you about that at the end of today's video. But, obviously, the big story right now in the SEC is that Will Muschamp has parted ways. And it's interesting, the first thing I get is a tweet from the Lemon family. Oh, look, I got a nice little seltzer. Thank you so much. So as we dive into um, this Will Muschamp story, you know, I got to shout out my dude Lemon. All right? Will Muschamp is available. We might need a new coach to coach the defense. Go Tigers. And it's not just Lemon. A lot of you have brought Will Muschamp's name up in the live chat. And let's be honest, a former SEC East head coach who immediately got hired to be a defensive coordinator has actually been the best defensive coordinator this year in the SEC. That is Barry Odom at Arkansas, who LSU has to play this upcoming weekend. So, obviously, I'm not a Will Muschamp fan. I, I've, I've said this plenty of times. In fact, I do... ESPN Radio in South Carolina on occasion, and I said it in the middle of Gamecock country that they should fire Will Muschamp now. The problem was his buyout, and you are going to be shocked when you actually hear what the buyout number actually is in just a moment. But to answer Lemon and all of you in the live chat, no, you should not hire Will Muschamp. I've always brought this up and this is Pete Dammel talking about some potential candidates uh, to replace Will Muschamp and a lot of you are in the 337 Billy Napier is the sexiest name out there I don't know if he wants to leave for South Carolina he is the only coach in the conference USA that's making north of a million dollars a year so unless you want to hand him a contract where he's getting three or four million dollars a year after paying Will Muschamp's contract, I'm not so sure if that is what you want to do. So I'm just going to scroll through some of these guys. Bill O'Brien, Hugh Freeze is going to be a really sexy name, but Liberty's paying him a butt uh, is paying him a butt ton. Uh, Scott Scat- Satterfield, Tony Elliott, who actually coaches in South Carolina for Clemson, Sark, Venables, Will Healy, our very own Joe Brady. I don't think he's leaving the NFL anytime soon. Jamie Caldwell, Jeff Monken, Bill Clark. But anyway, it's interesting because I like a coach who has something to prove. Will Muschamp, like Bo Pelini, has already proven that he can win a national championship as the LSU defensive coordinator. And you also got to remember this. Will Muschamp has more than enough paid his dues and done so much in coaching already in his career that I don't think he wants to be a defensive coordinator again. It's basically him starting all over because LSU was actually his first big job under Saban. Remember, Will Muschamp as a head coach or a defensive coordinator has coached at Texas, has coached at Auburn, has coached at Florida. So actually, since LSU, South Carolina is the fourth most prestigious job he's actually coached. And think about going from stop to stop, making millions upon millions of dollars. You know, the more money you get, some coaches have less than a desire to prove themselves. Will Muschamp is set For life, to get a good coordinator nowadays, I believe you need to get someone that's proven. And the difference between Will Muschamp and Arkansas's Barry Odom, who Arkansas hired after he got fired from Missouri, number one, Barry Odom was actually a good coach at Missouri. He wasn't exceptional, but he also wasn't, you know, bad. Will Muschamp's been flat out awful at South Carolina. Really, really, really bad. So, there's a difference. And also, Barry Odom has partially worked because of his personal life. Because 
for those that don't know, Missouri and Fayetteville are relatively close together. So it wasn't as big of a deal for him to uproot his family and go somewhere else. And on top of that, Barry Odom still has something to prove. He wants another SEC head coaching job. He wants to prove he can coach in the SEC. So him being a defensive coordinator in Missouri, then getting fired as a head coach, it's a lot different than Will Muschamp, who has bounced around at all these jobs. Even Muschamp right now is doubting himself. So as you can tell here, um, Chris Lowe is pointing out some other potential fill-ins. So Billy Napier seems to be the favorite right now. And I know some of you are raging Cajun fans. I hope it doesn't happen. But, you know, at some point, Billy Napier is going to make that jump to the SEC. So this is Will Muschamp's buyout. And this is why this is a big deal. Because, well, Will Muschamp may not actually take the LSU defensive coordinator job. This does put more pressure on LSU to fire Bo Pelini because in the middle of a pandemic, South Carolina, who doesn't have close to the athletic funds as LSU has, the Gamecocks are paying Will Muschamp $13 million to just walk away. Now, it was $15 million, but... It was amended in the contract right before the season that his buyout was going to be $13 million. This is what happens when you have an athletic director like Ray Tanner, who, unlike Skip Bertman, they're both college World Series baseball coaches. Ray Tanner has not worked out as well as Skip Bertman worked out for LSU. This was a disastrous decision by Tanner to extend Muschamp, and this is why the buyout is where it is right now. Thirteen million dollars just to walk away. So, Bo Pelini, who I would put a great deal on his shoulders as to why LSU's not that good this year, his buyout, according to The Advocate, zoom in on this, is $6.9 million. Now, what a lot of lawyers do is they work with the coordinator to get that number down lower just so they can hurry up and get the the firing done. But this is a first-year contract, okay? $6.9 million. So $7 million is what you have to pay him just to walk away. That is half, half of what South Carolina is doing just to get rid of Will Muschamp. So, this does put pressure on LSU simply because you don't have the same excuse as what a lot of people would think you would say as to why you wouldn't fire Bo Pelini because most people would say, hey, look, uh, South Carolina fired their head coach and they're paying him double to walk away. Why can't we fire Bo Pelini, who's been an unmitigated disaster, and just get him out of town $7 million? So why not? Why would you do it? So that's what really sucks if you're LSU. If the reason why you didn't want to fire Bo Pelini is because of money. And here's the thing. LSU's going to have to move off of him. The defensive results are only going to get worse. In fact, Ole Miss has a better offense than any team LSU's played. Florida's got a better offense than any team LSU's played. Alabama's got a better offense, and all three of these teams are still on the schedule. Texas A&M is fighting for the college football playoff, and Arkansas has been pretty good. Felipe Franks, once an LSU commit, has actually played pretty well at quarterback. So, and, and Arkansas skill position guys are really good. So, you know, it's only going to get worse. So, because Pelini's results are only going to get worse, it looks as if LSU's going to have to move off of them, and a big reason why is because of this. So um, we shall see what happens with that. I don't know if this has as much of an impact, but this is the first domino in the coaches are going to get fired despite athletic departments losing millions upon millions of dollars due to the pandemic. So it's very fascinating. Now, Will Muschamp is not the SEC East coach. 
fired that I would pursue if I were LSU, I would look more towards a Derek Mason. He wouldn't cost as much as Will Muschamp. He was an ace defensive coordinator at uh, Stanford, I believe under David Shaw. And he's still hungry to prove something. He's never had athletes to compete at Vanderbilt. So I believe Derek Mason deserves another opportunity at another SEC school, not quite as a head coach, but as a defensive coordinator or a defensive coach somewhere. If you were going to hire a former head coach, I would not hire Will Muschamp. And it's not because Will Muschamp isn't talented. I keep going back to this. Hunger matters. The game has changed so much. And as I was watching the end of the Ole Miss-South Carolina game, it were it was defensive errors that South Carolina could not communicate um, that ultimately cost them the game. So that's not a smart idea to bring him back over. Now look, LSU is heavily influenced by old booster money, okay? Now, that is a good thing because they do provide a lot of money for the school, but the bad side of it is a lot of old school boosters want to bring back the glory days. They're like, oh, well, we know well, and we know it works, and we saw what happens with Bo Pelini. Now, there is a side story that I want to bring up about this, Could LSU actually pick up Jordan Birch from all of this? Now, a lot of you, let's do a quick let's do a quick search right here on Jordan Birch. Remember Jordan Birch? Where he was going to go to LSU. He was gonna flip from South Carolina to LSU at the last second. He ended up sticking with South Carolina, and the main reason he stuck with South Carolina, some of it is because of the proximity to the school, as you can tell here. Played in Columbia. Now, Jordan Birch, one of his best friends was Will Muschamp's son, who was also on his high school team, and that was ultimately the main reason why Jordan Birch decided to go to South Carolina. Now that Will Muschamp isn't there, And now that the transfer window allows you to transfer and play right away, you know, Ed Orgeron has has pulled some crazier recruiting pulls in his career. This is not as far-fetched as one might think. Now, has Jordan Birch necessarily lit the world on fire? Not necessarily, but put him around some other talented defensive linemen? Jordan Birch could potentially be a dominant performer at a position where LSU does need some depth. So maybe that ends up happening. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's power. Our LSU. Boom. Ba ba ba. Ba da.